kind of lost for words, not often with me, but I mean, I'm, I, I'm, I'm, I'm really, really proud of our, our guys. I mean, our seniors, I mean, they stepped up, man. I mean, we had a lot of stuff kind of working against us tonight. It's been a rough couple of days since we got back from the Bahamas. Just we've had a bunch of guys sick in our program. Um, we've, uh, we've had some things happen, uh, some personal things happen off the court with a couple of our guys. And uh, we, I mean, we, this was, we had every excuse tonight to kind of mail it in. But I mean, Jaquan, Mo, Burge, they, they, they were, they were awesome. I thought Dariante gave us really, really good minutes. Um, and uh, Doug, Doug was, Doug played with more. I mean, I told Doug, you know, once we knew Jonathan couldn't go today, Jonathan, he, he gave it everything he had to try to go. He went to a doctor this afternoon and got an IV and fluids. He was doing everything he could to try to go. He woke up this morning. Mo had it. We have two managers that have had it. We've had a GA that's had it. Something happened at the end of our trip in the Bahamas. So it's kind of been going through the team. And I mean, he was great yesterday. And then he woke up this morning and was just in bad, bad shape. And, and he tried everything he could to go. And, you know, he up until even right after shoot around, we thought he still may be able to go. He went and got an IV. And, some other things he just couldn't go. So um, for those guys to pick us up and Jaquan to play like he did was just um, just tremendous, especially with the start we got off to. And uh, I mean, they're 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 as good as advertised. They're a great team. They're a great team, and uh, that was just a, a, a tremendous tremendous win. We'll look back at that in a couple months and be very very happy we have that. So I'm really really proud of all of our all our guys. I mean, we rallied. We rallied. Wasn't easy, and we rallied. Now, hopefully, you know we've got good stuff to us. We did the same thing against St. John's, but we can't keep putting ourselves in these situations. We got to get off to some better starts. As a coach, um, when you when you're seeing them throw the ball behind their head, and it seemed like everything was going in for a while, and you've game planned all week, and stuff like that happens. What goes through? Yeah, mind? sometimes you wonder. Like we guarded him well, and he threw it in. You know, I was really upset. We gave up the free throw offensive rebound, which gave him the three. We gave him a three when we didn't match up properly on baseline out of bounds. Like I'm sitting there thinking that's six points that we're going to come back to bite us that we could control. Um, yeah, you just, I mean, you know, you you worry about all that. That's the unknown in, in some games. But you just got to have guys make plays. I told our guys before the game, we can make plays or make excuses. So you can figure, it, you can figure out which one you want to do. You can either make a play or you can make an excuse. We had enough guys step up and make plays. Samir's three was huge. Like Samir, one thing, you know, I told him, I, you know, he's been playing much better. And I, I told him, I said, you got to keep working. I keep coming in in the mornings and working. And he works every morning. He's in there at 630 in the morning. Him and Derry and some of those other guys. Burge comes in and like that stuff paid off. That stuff paid off tonight. Burge hits that three. Yeah, he banked it in. But you know what? He deserves it. He works hard. He works hard. And uh those guys came through for us. I mean, we needed other guys to step up, and, and, and they certainly did that. Give Princeton credit, though. They're really good. They had a great game plan. They hadn't played the 1-3-1 all year. That's the first time they'd played the 1-3-1 all year. We had to adjust on the fly on that thing, and uh, it took us a little while to get going against it. But um, it was, wow, what a game. How big do you hope that shot will be for Jordan's just confidence, which he's kind of struggled with? Right? Well, he's shooting it well. Look at his stats. I mean, his stats this year are much, much, much better. He's like a 50% three-point shooter, almost a 50% three-point shooter. He's taking good shots. I mean, he was 5 of 5 from the field. He was finishing around the rim. We worked in the offseason about cutting, and he was cutting to the rim and finished. I mean, he did exactly what he was supposed to do today. I mean, he's hurt now. He's hurt. He played hurt. We played Jaquan 40 minutes. I mean, he had – I mean, guys, he's played 40 minutes a game basically four times in, the la in, in under a week, like four times in six days. I mean, we've been riding him like a, a rented mule. I mean, he's. I mean, I mean, he he he's been playing. I mean, you know, he, <laughs> I mean, he, he he you know, he's been he's been phenomenal. We we just couldn't get him a break tonight, um, and uh, you know, he was great. And you know, I think I think I think we've got you know we've got some good stuff to us. We got to continue to get better where we don't put ourselves in those situations. And um, you know, we got different guys stepping up each night, which is good. The run coach at halftime. Huge. Huge. I mean, we, we, we finally got the tempo going. We got it played on our terms. We had pushed their offense out. I think we had two or three run through steals, which is what we wanted to kind of force. So, you know, they're all on timing and they're trying to hit spots. So if you can force them a step off their spot, it makes their passes longer. It, it throws off all their timing. And so we were finally able to kind of do that. 
I thought the end of the first half and beginning the second half, we had a three three point lead at that first media timeout in the second half. I think that really settled us down and settled us in and and uh, and got us going. But we, we did some really good things. The stops at the end of the half were really good. The stop right there before half where we had two people fly at the three when they popped the guy back. Like like the stuff we had scouted, our guys did a really nice job on. And and, and um that, that that was that was big. That was big. He was good. You know, Doug started for us. He was out there to start, and then we, we, we. But he, uh, you know, his energy is his energy is 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 really really good. And he played with much more discipline tonight. I told him like, you're gonna have to play with discipline. We don't have a whole lot of other options. Like you cannot get the, you know, pick up the fouls in the full court. Like you've got to you got to be you got to be more solid with what you're doing. And and he uh, he did that. I thought he took good shots. Um, the one pull up three was was I could probably live without that, but the rest of them were good looks and and, and you know he'll knock those down most of the time. What enabled you to, to get the pace the way you wanted it after that initial burst that they had and they were slowing it down with one three one? Yeah, well the one three one really surprised us. We, we we I mean we knew they had played it a little bit last year, but we they had not shown it one possession this year that we had seen. So we, we were we were. We were a little bit, we were a little bit taken back by that. Now we played against it, you know, a couple other times this year, but we're such that like we prepare everything, we sequence everything in practice. Whatever defense we're going to go against, we have everything written out, and we and everything's planned. Well, we didn't we didn't go over any of the one three one stuff for three days, and so I had to dust it off on the board at a timeout and explain what we're doing. We really just need to get to halftime. Once we, we attacked it much better after halftime. Once we get to halftime and adjust and Get everybody in the right spots and maneuvered the right place. We were we were we were we were in uh, we were in better shape. But um, you know, it's just uh, I, I think we were able to get stops and then get out in transition and run where we didn't have to play against their set. We didn't have to play against their set defense as much. Um, so you got 20 minutes from Dariante. It seems like you think things are slowing down from him for him a little. He seems to be playing with confidence. Yeah, he's playing much better. You know, he's playing much better. It just tonight they played so small. It was just hard for us to move some of those bigger guys in. And um, you know, I, I thought I thought Derry. You know, I thought he did some really good things. He took good shots. He had a couple go in and out. But he's um, he's starting to get it. He's starting to get it. We can bring him along and keep Samir moving along. Then we're going, you know. And when a team plays that small as a coach, uh, how do you weigh um, switching to doing what they do versus saying, no, we're going to make you do what we do? Well, we couldn't guard. If we, I mean, yeah. I'm not trying to, I'm not going to single any of our guys out, but we have some guys who just couldn't guard their guys. Like, they couldn't guard them. They would just pick on them. Same thing happened in the LSU game with one of our guards. Who, whenever we put him in, they just took put him in a ball screen and drove it right down Main Street to the rim. So we just you can't play him. You just got to move him on and go go find other people who can who can play that game. Um, but I mean, you know, part of the problem is we gave up seven quick points to to thirty. You know, I hope he's I hope he's okay. He was injured last year, but we gave up seven quick points. You know, trying to guard him and we didn't do what we were supposed to do, and so that's a problem. And so, you know, um, you know, we, we've got to, you know, certain games dictate certain people play more. And, and we just felt like, I mean, our small lineup's not like it's bad. Um, but, you know, that we, it's not like we were in there getting a ton of offensive rebounds. And that would be a reason to play big, to make up for that. Um, and there really wasn't, you know, sometimes if they don't have somebody who can shoot, you could maybe hide one of them on somebody else. But they're all in constant motion. So you can't really... There's nowhere to hide. You're out there on an island, and they're going to pick at you on the island. So you, you can't really hide anybody. And coming into this one, they they put up serious numbers last year, but they kind of struggled this year. Do you subscribe to the, like I do, that, man, these guys might be due? Like oh, yeah. You're worried about that. That stuff evens out. I'm glad we don't play them again in two weeks. That stuff evens out. You betcha. Yeah. Yeah, you betcha. Yeah, that would be. We don't want to play them again in two weeks. <laughs> I mean, they can shoot the cover off the ball now. They can shoot the cover off the ball. They threw a couple in tonight behind ball screens. You know how hard that is? Shoot it behind a ball screen when we go on. Like, that stuff is – like, there's pros that can't do that. That stuff's – that ain't easy. And they threw two of those things in. you think Johnny will be available for Saturday? 
We hope so. I mean, we think it's just a 24-hour bug like the rest of those guys have had. That's what that's what Doc has said. So we assume he'll be ready to go on. Uh, we assume he'll be ready to go on Saturday. Anything else, guys?